Hey everyone, welcome back to FS Auto Vlogs. Hope you're all safe and healthy. So today I'm going back to the Hongqi dealership where previously I made a video with their flagship sedan, that's the H9. And today I will be making a video with their uh, mid-size SUV, that's the HS5. And I will be going through all going through all their ins and outs of the SUV and showcasing all the features in it. So do watch the video till the end. So if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing and I have a goal of reaching 2000 subscribers. And also while you're down there, do turn on the notifications so that you'll be the first ones to know when I upload the latest videos. So let's not waste any more time now and let's go ahead and take a look at the car. All right guys, so here's the Hongqi HS5, which is their uh, midsize SUV or crossover. And in terms of the price of this uh, SUV, it uh, here in Saudi Arabia it competes with uh, the cars like Toyota RAV4, Hyundai Tucson and uh, the Kia Sportage but in terms of the actual luxury and features this car offers it uh, has uh, it competes uh, with uh, the players like the BMW X3, Audi Q5 and uh, Jaguar F-Pace etc like those cars uh, due to the Hongqi brand being a bit more luxury focused. So Hongqi, most of you might not know, the name means red flag in Chinese, uh, the way it's translated. And uh, HS5 is like their uh, middle of the line crossover. Uh, you have the HS7 which is their uh, largest crossover or SUV. And uh, also there's another one that's launched in China It is called the HS9. So obviously that's much bigger than that. And that is their flagship sedan, uh, the H9. And they also have another smaller car called the H5 but that's not currently available in the showroom. So today's uh, focus will be on this car. So let's take a look at the design now. So like I said the name which means red flag. On all Hongqi cars you get this element on the hood and on the grille itself. So this is a red line which flows all the way uh, till the middle of the hood. Uh, unlike the HS9 which is the flagship over here, this part does not light up. It's just there for uh, uh, design purpose, uh, no other function other than that. Then in terms of the front design or front look of this car, the headlights do remind me a bit of uh, Audi uh, due to the shape of it, but otherwise it's unique. The grille shape is also pretty unique. It does resemble like, uh, it does look like the Rolls Royce grille. Uh, if it had been uh, flattened and widened a bit uh, because uh, the flagship sedan that is the H9 over there does have a Rolls Royce like uh, grill and the fact that the designer of Hongqi is an ex designer from Rolls Royce and BMW itself so you might see some uh, design elements here and there then one cool feature of the Hongqi HS5 in the lights department itself is when you unlock the car so you have a sequence lighting which I'll just show you so here's the key, you have the Hongqi logo in Chinese and you have a pretty uh, decent looking key. Uh, it does have uh, a, like a metallic grey finish to it and you have the red flag again in the middle, the red line and you have four buttons, uh, unlock, lock to open the tailgate and this is for your panic button I believe. And when you unlock the car, you can see the sequence lighting which turns on. You have sequential indicators as well and you can see how the headlights turn on. So that's a cool feature, uh, not usually available on the cars in this price range. So that's cool. Then the grill itself, it's a pretty big grill according uh, to what I feel like. Uh, if it was a bit more smaller, I feel it would have looked much more better. But uh, I do know that Hongqi is a luxury brand and most of the luxury brands nowadays are just putting pretty huge grills. So huge grill nowadays means luxury and it's totally open, no blocked off vents. Uh, then you have your number plate holder here and you have uh, an additional air intakes or uh, radiator behind here. Then you have some fog lamps on the side over here and you can see it's uh, quad LEDs. They look pretty good and uh, you have this uh, black plastic around the fog lamp. These are not vents, uh, they're just meant for show but they do look good. Then you have a small chrome trim down at the bottom and that's all there is to show on the front bumper. Then since we are at the front, we'll take a look at the engine under the hood. But before that, this one, you get two trim levels here in Saudi Arabia. We have the comfortable or comfort and you have the deluxe. So the comfort only comes as front wheel drive but the deluxe you get it as an option either front wheel drive or four wheel drive and this particular model is four wheel drive so you can see all the features here uh, so if you want to take a look at it at your own pace uh, you can pause the video and go through them so i'll just uh, you can see the you have your engine two liter turbocharged and uh, maximum torque 340 newton meters that's 250 pound feet 
you have your power output that's 223 horsepower you have a six speed automatic transmission which is uh, shift by wire then you all you have uh, your suspension uh, components then you have your tires the base model comes with 18 inch tires but this one since it's the top trim uh, you have uh, 20 inch uh, rims with 255 section then you have the dimensions and all these functions or features over here in this car the price of this particular car is 164,800 so it does uh, compete with uh, the cars like I said the Toyota RAV4, the Hyundai Tucson and the Sportage in terms of price but as you saw in the terms of features it does uh, punch its way to the BMW X3 and Audi Q5. Uh, so now what I'll do is just open the engine bay and we'll take a look at the engine. So here's the engine bay, <laughs> nothing much to show I know that. Since everything is covered in uh, plastic, you just have that uh, small 2 liter uh, turbocharged engine. Uh, you have the Hong Chi logo here. And the only things you can access is the windshield wash washer fluid. Uh, I'm not sure, I think that's the coolant. And yeah, you can access the battery. But other than that, there's nothing else you can uh, access. So like I told you, this car produces 223 horsepower with 340 uh, newton meters of torque. That's 250 pound feet of torque. It's attached to a six speed automatic, shift by wire. And that's all there is to show. So now let's take a look at the side design. So the side of the car does look pretty good. You don't have a much of a resemblance to any other kind of car. Uh, the design is unique to Hongqi, which I like. Uh, normally you don't see that on Chinese brands, most of the designs are a copy of other uh, brands, but this is good. Uh, on the side, you can also see on the headlights, you have the Hongqi logo here with some design uh, etching over here. Then in terms of the wheels, like I said, since this is the top model or top trim, uh, you do get 20 inch rims, they are sitting on Michelin tires and the design of this rim is something I like quite a lot. You have this uh, diamond cut finish and the uh, nuts are covered by this nice plate with the Hong Chi logo in the middle and these are 255 section tires with a 45 series sidewall so that's all there is to show on the tires front or rims also you have uh, some parking sensors over here then on the side you have this uh, design element again with the red flag theme coming back and uh, it's a fake wind basically it's just there for design purpose uh, then you have a nice design on the side mirror itself it's mounted on the doors rather than on the a pillar you have your indicators on this side let me just show you how they work there you can see and you have your camera for your uh, blind spot and 360 degree camera assist then at the bottom itself you have a nice uh, chrome trim uh, nothing much uh, flashy and that's what I like it has a bit of uh, understated look not overly flashy and because of that I do like the design of this then the window trim is also in chrome and it surrounds uh, all over here and since this is a uh, meant to be a luxury car not a much uh, sportier model so the chrome does work here and also on the door handles you have uh, chrome on the top and body color at the bottom so that's all then at the back we come you don't have much of a sloping roof design though and you have some roof rails also in that uh, silver finish then at the back same size tires 20 inch wheel with the 255 section tires uh, so that's all then we come to the back now at the back design also is uh, pretty good uh, again it's not a copy of any other car it does look unique so that's all and the roof spoiler you can see it has its own design element even though it's not open it's just there for design and it does look good you have a shark fin antenna at the top then you have your third brake light with another camera over here you have your windshield wiper now this thing is something i'm not a fan of i usually like windshield washers or wipers if they're integrated here it does look much more cleaner but they have integrated it here so not a big deal then you have your Hongqi logo here again you have some chinese which i don't know actually then like i said this one is all wheel drive so you have that uh, badge here then you have the model name that is the hs5 and 40 td i'm not sure what that means though then at the bottom it we have uh, exhaust dual exhaust though and let me just check if it's real and yes it is actually real it is attached to the exhaust and here as well so better than the germans actually the chinese are actually giving you real exhaust then you have that uh, same aluminum trim here and you have your uh, backup camera right over here and again that chrome trim right over here now like i said before also i do like how they have integrated the chrome in over here and it doesn't look overly fancy or cheap it does feel or look good now like i showed you the sequence lighting at the front you do have sequence lighting at the back as well so when i unlock the car 
you can see again the sequential indicators open up and you have the sequence lighting up and I do like the design signature of the tail lamps it does look good so let's open up the boots and take a look at the boot space we have so you can open it via the key or via the button in here so let's open it up it's electrically operated on all the models so you have a decent size uh, boot space I'm not sure about the exact uh, size though uh, or uh, how much liters it is because I couldn't find that information on uh, the internet as well as on their uh, website but uh, uh, the way I'm looking at it I do personally own a 2012 Toyota RAV4 and um, it does feel a bit smaller than that car but uh, it's a nice square shape and you can pretty much uh, load it up with your uh, check-in bags uh, not the large ones just the check-in bags uh, the large ones maybe two or three might fit inside i think this is your tool kit and first aid kit so it's in a nice red bag and you have some storage pockets here you have some tethering points and you can lift this up you have some more storage space with your uh, tool kit and also you do have uh, let me just check yeah you have a spare tire and since this car has a Bose surround sound system this is your subwoofer over here so that's all and uh, let's close this up so you have your button here to close the tailgate now that's done uh, we are done with the exterior of the car I think we should take a look at the interior of the car so on the interior front uh, there is one feature when you open the door uh, there is a red flag logo right here I'm not sure if you can see that clearly but it does show up I'll put up a photo of how that looks though and uh, it'll be easier for you to see now one thing about this door itself you can see how it opens all the way down so if your car goes through some mud so this the mud will not stick over here and when you open the door uh, all the mud will be on the outside of the door and when you get out your uh, trousers or uh, denims won't get uh, dirty so that's nice also one feature of the door itself it does open almost 90 degree so because of that you have a good um, amount of space to exit and enter the car itself then let's talk about the door trim so you have soft touch materials here it is uh, soft touch plastic actually it's not leather this one then you have leather over here it's actually napa leather so again the luxury intentions does show over here then you have soft touch material here as well you have your uh, window switches side mirror control the side mirror controls are heated as well i mean the mirrors itself are heated as well then you have the brushed aluminum effect on the handle you have your lock and unlock buttons now this trim it sort of looks like carbon fiber but it is obviously not carbon fiber though but it does look good it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look tacky or uh, cheap uh, then this trim over here uh, when the ambient lighting is switched off it looks just like a normal metal trim but right now the ambient lighting is on and you can see how it lights up in blue over here and you have some decent amount of door pockets and you have your Bose speaker system right here and that's all and this one is this part is in uh, piano black I would have loved it if it was in the same uh, aluminum trim over here then we come to the seats now these seats just a minute okay now these seats are uh, part leather and part Alcantara or suede I think this is suede Alcantara is a much rougher material so you can see you have this headrest here which obviously move so that you have uh, better uh, you can keep your head in it better or with more comfort you have leather in the middle with the diamond quilting then you have that uh, suede material on the side itself more leather here and in the middle with that suede material over here now you have your uh, lumbar controls here you have your uh, seat controls for your backrest and the uh, base itself and you have uh, memory controls as well so that's all there is uh, on the seat now what we'll do is uh, jump inside and take a look at the interior okay so i'm in the interior of the hongqi hs5 and uh, let's turn on the vehicle first so to turn on the vehicle uh, you have your start stop button here on the center console and let me just start that up there we go it turns on let me just mute it up there we go now the design when you look at it you might be familiar with the design this is a design that has been used by mercedes a lot you have it in the a class the e class the previous c class the gle the gls also on the previous s class so this design is uh, mainly uh, you know uh, uh, most of the people think of it like a mercedes if i had the badge uh, if i had hide the badge i mean uh, most of the people might think this is a mercedes if uh, only the keen eyed ones might notice the points and everything are different so that's pretty nice then like the the ambient light trim like i said it follows all the way down here and it flows into the doors over there 
So normally when I switch, if I switch it off, you can see uh, it does look like an aluminum trim and you have that same carbon fiber trim going all the way over there. Then in terms of the quality of the materials, you have soft touch here on the dashboard itself, everywhere it is soft touch, it doesn't feel cheap at all. And these are both 12.3 inch displays by the way. So that's pretty nice. So let me just start the car because the battery is pretty low. Okay, there we go. The car is on. Okay, so now that the car is on, let me just show you some other things now. You have a heads up display and you can clearly see how big it is. It shows up right in your line of sight. So that's nice. Then you have your speaker again that both surround sound system. You have that one speaker there. You have another speaker on the A pillar. And overall, generally speaking, the visibility from my point of view, if you can see, I can clearly see the corners of the car. I can clearly see outside. And uh, even the view from the back window is uh, decent enough. Uh, not good, but decent. So that's uh, pretty okay. Then the AC vent design over here is something I like. Uh, it does look like a one a long flowing air vent. Obviously it's just not, it's not that. You have a vent over there. This is just plastic trim for design purpose. Then we come to the display itself. Now you have uh, different uh, settings inside. So you can see that was your trip computer. This shows you your uh, uh, another trip computer long. Then this shows you, this is your fuel consumption. You have your tire pressure, you have your uh, date and uh, all wheel drive system which shows how the power is distributed. If you don't want that, you can switch it to navigation and that will show up there. Then you can switch it to your uh, phone connections or Bluetooth. You have your media controls, then you have your radio controls and that's it. Other than that, you don't have much settings on the main display itself or the instrument display. Then we come to the steering wheel. So again, it's in leather and since the car is started, I can see how light it feels, the steering wheel right now. Then you have some paddle shifters. They are plastic, but they do look cool. You have your light controls here. You have your windshield controls here. So this part over here helps with the instrument display. Then uh, you have your uh, phone controls, volume controls, voice assistant, all this stuff. And you have your horn. And again, the steering wheel, the design is pretty good. Uh, I like I do like this uh, aluminum trim they have integrated here and overall the quality feels is nice Then on the side you have few buttons you have the button to open the tailgate This is your hill descent control you have heated steering wheel not that we need it in Saudi Arabia then this is your um, display uh, control uh, it, it to increase the display brightness then you have your uh, heads up display you can configure it how up or uh, how down you want it or you can just switch it off totally with that then the steering wheel also one more thing this is your cruise control setting since this is a top of the line model uh, deluxe four wheel drive it has every single safety features you can think of so pretty good and uh, the steering wheel control is right here you can see it is electrically operated on the base model though it is uh, not electric it is a manual steering wheel so that's all then we come to the main display itself so the main display you have your vehicle controls where you can it does take some time to load up though you have your lighting controls comfort drive assist all that stuff the heads up display and everything else from here for some reason though the navigation is not showing up i did uh, see someone else's video which who said that uh, the navigation was not you know completely configured for the other international markets so maybe they might be working on that. Then you have this e-motion, uh, which is basically all the uh, apps for the car. I'm not sure if this has Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I don't think it has that. Then in the system settings itself, uh, before that you have your multimedia and phone controls. And in the system settings, uh, you can configure a lot of things. Now you have your uh, app link. You can see it shows you Baidu car life so that means it's a Chinese thing you don't have Apple CarPlay you can change your language everything else from here then in A and V you have a UI theme so basically you can change how this display looks so right now we are in classic I can shift it to sport you can see this changes up also this changes one thing I like is how uh, that uh, red flag shows up over there and uh, when I if I rev the car let me just do it you can see how that flag moves up so pretty cool then you have a simple design which is more of an understated look but to be honest i like this sport look the most just because of that red flag over there so overall pretty nice 
then you have some display mode brightness volume settings all that stuff also since this one has the Bose surround sound you can actually do the equilibrium or you can uh, configure it how you want the sound to be or where you want it to be produced from you can make it a driver's priority backseat priority etc all that stuff so that's done then you have your uh, climate control settings here so I can turn that on you can see you have your displays here which showcase the temperature then you have your uh, other climate controls other than that you have your fan speed etc all that stuff so pretty good let me just switch that off otherwise it will impede with my microphone then you have your auto start stop button here you have a traction control this is your parking assist i believe yep that's your parking yeah. assist yeah it shows you your parking assist let me just switch that off though okay then you have your button to switch off the main display itself then you have your uh, parking sensor you can switch them off the rear parking sensors this is your lane departure warning or uh, assist actually and uh, this one is your parking cameras which we'll take a look at now so this is your front view you have your guidelines here if i turn the wheel it does turn the guidelines as well you can take a look from your uh, blind spot over here or the left blind spot or your rear view camera which shows you that so pretty good quality it, not the highest but it's uh, decent enough uh, then you have your uh, 3d mode as well just like you get in the modern mercedes bmw etc and you can swipe across and park your car with ease now that is pretty nice then you have this uh, we come to the uh, center console though so piano black not my favorite but uh, you can clean it up but this one is a cubby hole which opens up to reveal two cup holders which are decent size and uh, you have your 12 volt socket here let me just close that up then you have your start stop button you have your gear selector now you have your park button here or basically what you have to do is uh, to shift into drive just push it back or down push it up for reverse a half click will take you to neutral and if you press that or you come to drive you can shift it to manual mode that's good and if you press p it goes back into parking so pretty nice then you have your uh, electronic parking brake you have your uh, auto hold and these are your drive modes now the drive modes don't specifically show up pretty uh, large so when i see you can see how i change it up okay now it comes up it's an eco comfort sport you have snow you have off-road and that's all so let's keep it in comfort for now also this one being the top end trim have uh, electronically controlled suspension also so that obviously changes the uh, driving characteristics according to the drive modes then you have your cooled seats heated seats wireless charging pad right over here and your passenger also has the same heated and cooled seats then you have your uh, armrest which is again soft touch leather and you can open this up you have a good amount or decent amount of space with two usb ports then you have a decent amount of storage in the glove box again it's lined with felt so nothing you put inside will rattle around so good then we come up so you have a frameless uh, mirror which i like a lot and you have uh, your controls here for your blinds for your panoramic sunroof which goes all the way over there and you can see the ambient lighting in the roof as well right over there and then you have your light controls now these are actually touch sensitive you might think these are clicky buttons but no you just touch them and they uh, switch on and they are all led and this part actually looks like uh, the bmws have uh, then you have uh, your control to open the sunroof and that's it then you have a decent uh, size of uh, a basic standard mirror or uh, i mean <laughs> visor with your led lighting up top and that's all there is to show on this side one thing on the driver side i noticed you don't have a grab handle instead you have a uh, this uh, sunglasses holder so <laughs> that's pretty unique that is something i've seen normally on over here not on the driver's side over there now that we're done with one more thing i want i forgot to show you actually is the amount of space i have here now the driving seat is set to my driving position and uh, i'm pretty comfortable and uh, i have a good amount of uh, knee room here i can easily place the steering wheel here and also when i flat put my foot down it is okay i have decent amount of space then uh, also the fact that i am 64 and usually i am 195 centimeter plus i do come into the larger body size category and i am pretty comfortable in these seats and also the headroom you can see despite i'm uh, wearing a cap i have a, a good amount of headroom 
uh, that is something I don't say very often in most of the cars so it's a good amount of headroom now what we'll do is uh, jump out of the car and take a look at the back seat okay so one thing I forgot to show you about the interior is you have the Hongqi sill plates which are illuminated so now let's jump into the back seat okay so the back seat doors are again similar in terms of the quality you have your same soft touch materials with the ambient lighting your carbon fiber tripe uh, trim and you have the same leather materials all around uh, then you have your window controls you can you might be seeing two but so one is for this side and the other is for the other side of the window so you can control both from here then you have your button for your heated seats so you have heated seats at the back uh, I think since we are in Saudi Arabia, we should have got cooled seats. Then you have a decent amount of uh, door uh, storage, door pocket storage, but uh, not a lot. So, but it's okay. Also, again, the rear doors are pretty wide opening, so that's nice. And again, you get the Hong Chi name uh, sill plate, which is illuminated. So now let's jump inside and see how much space we have. Okay, so in the back seat itself, uh, I'm impressed actually. Even in my own car, that is the RAW4, I do not have this much amount of space. So now the driving seat is set to my driving position and you can see I have a good amount of uh, knee room, which is uh, okay for me, actually. This is a lot for me because that's something I don't usually get in most of the cars. So that's nice. And also the headroom is uh, pretty good. Uh, you can see despite uh, the sun, there being a panoramic sunroof, I uh, have a decent amount of headroom and I can comfortably sit here inside. Then you have a decent amount of door pockets. You can see the ambient lighting shows up down there. Then you have your AC vent in here. And what else do you have? Okay, so let me just zoom in for you guys. So you have a 12 volt socket with two USBs. So that's nice. Then what else do we have? We have uh, reading lights right over here. Again with the ten sen touch sensitive control. So that turns on. You have your door handles and that's all there is to show actually uh, one more thing i told you this was the ambient lighting but that's not the ambient lighting it was just a protective uh, protective uh, cover for the blinds <laughs> so sorry about that then uh, you have the armrest over here and it's nice and soft so you might be thinking where are the cup holders though and they are integrated right here let me just <laughs> open them though for some reason they're not opening okay for some reason the cup holders are not opening though i don't know why but you have your cup holders here they're not opening though so that's cool and that's all there is to show in the back seat of the hongchi hs5 okay guys so that was the video on the hongchi hs5 hope you enjoyed that a lot and uh, if you did don't forget to leave a like down below also comment down below or what features of the Hongqi you did like and uh, also so do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be the first ones to know when I upload the latest videos. I do upload once every week and also you can follow me on Instagram. I will leave the link to it down in the description below. So thanks for watching guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye bye.